Jennifer Lawrence falls, Ben Affleck gets pissed, and Obama makes an appearance. Oh, and we didn't forget about that Rihanna and Chris Brown joke. Hey guys, I'm Elena Scantlin, and TVLine.com has the highlights from Sunday's 85th Academy Awards. As expected, Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane rustled a few feathers as the host of this year's Oscars. He took a lot of jabs, but one that stood out involved newly reunited couple Rihanna and Chris Brown. Django Unchained. Now that was an intense film. This is the story of a man fighting to get back his woman, who's been subjected to unthinkable violence. Or as Chris Brown and Rihanna call it, a date movie. Yikes. Of course, the music stars were not in attendance Sunday night, but you know who was? Ben Affleck, who didn't seem too thrilled by McFarlane's reference to Affleck's famous flop, Geely. How about Ben Affleck? Argo, highly entertaining film, despite that, nominated for Best Picture. This man has gone from starring in Gigli to becoming one of the most respected filmmakers of this generation. Best Original Song winner Adele made her highly anticipated Oscar debut singing Skyfall, but it was Jennifer Hudson's solo of the Dreamgirls hit And I Am Telling You earlier in the evening that got our vote for Best Performance of the Night. the entire cast of Les Mis breaking into song could compete with that performance. And poor Jennifer Lawrence will always associate her big Best Actress win for Silver Linings Playbook with this moment just seconds before. It was the second wardrobe-related disaster for the star this award season. You might remember that her dress began to fall apart when she went up to accept her SAG award just last month. McFarland's digital teddy bear got the biggest laughs as a presenter alongside TED co-star Mark Wahlberg. I just want to be a part of it. Huh? Come on, you guys, please, just tell me where it's going to be. Look, Ted, no one knows what you're talking about, okay? Mark, the big post-Oscars Hollywood orgy, please tell me where it is. He also won our award for best pronunciation of Les Miserables ever. And the Oscar goes to... Les Miserables. And Argo's best picture win may always be remembered as director slash producer Ben Affleck's redemption trophy. But with George Clooney also backing the project, there was only one thought on our minds. I know what you're thinking. Uh, three sexiest producers alive. The only thing that could make that win better was if it was presented by a member of the first family. Oh, wait. And the Oscar goes to... Argo. Those are the highlights from Hollywood's Big Night. I'm Melena Scantlin. For more TV news, check out TVLine.com. And be sure to subscribe to ENTV for all your entertainment news first.